So Nicki Minaj names saving money as one of her biggest life lessons. Says people should stop trying to impress people on social media. So Nicki Minaj says, quote, but I wish people understood. Save your money. Every time people come to my house, they think they're going to see 20 cars in a driveway. Live in La Vida Loca. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't have nobody to prove anything to. I'm quite happy. Thank God that I could not work for the last couple of years and still be good. Nikki added, but it didn't have to go that way. When we was going through that COVID thing and people couldn't go out there and make that club money and stuff, they was going crazy because y'all spend every dime as soon as y'all get it. So that's what I want our black young people to know. Stop trying to impress people on Instagram because the people that really got it don't do that. So my response is great message, wrong timing. Great message, wrong timing. She says, every time people come to my house, they think they're going to see 20 cars in the driveway. Now, Nikki, why do you think when people are invited to your house, do you think they believe they're going to see 20 cars in the driveway? You want to know why? Because you and like many other entertainers, you guys sell this luxurious lifestyle to the fans and to millions of people. There's this perception that celebrities like yourself have millions of dollars. See, y'all sold us this lifestyle. We were never taught in school how to save money. You know, we were never taught about, you know, financial literacy and investing our money. See, we were never taught to have discipline, which was one of the key things I think that you should have mentioned in that statement. That's something that you should have said early on in your career. Now it's too late. These young women of today's time, they looked up to the Nicki Minaj 10 to 15 years ago. 75 to 80 percent of your lyrics is about splurging money. So instead of talking at them, how about you talk to them? Because you can't forget that you were once young as well. This younger generation believes that all they need is money to bring happiness. They think if you just give them five, ten thousand dollars that all of their problems are going to go away. It doesn't work like that. See, they look on social media. They look at Nicki Minaj when she's on the shade room. They see when she's in a new Lamborghini. They see the Barbie chain. They don't care about saving money because celebrities like yourself never encourage them to do so. They'd rather spend their money on a Birkin bag. These young women of today, they're not listening to Nicki Minaj no more, right? Because she's not as relevant to young women no more. The young women of the day, they're listening to Glorilla. They're listening to Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, the City Girls. They outside. They want to be just like the guys. They got the tattoos the diamond chains, they wearing all the Fendi, the Gucci, the Louis Vuitton, the Prada, the Balenciaga. They want to be like the guys. They want to spend the bag. They don't know about finances. They don't know about economics. We're not taught this. Our education is YouTube and the black community. In the black community, our education comes from YouTube. The latest trend. You all have sold this lavish lifestyle, but now you're sticking your nose up at the younger generation and saying, now you're trying to impress people. I'm better than you. But you have a lot of old people who feels as though since they live longer than you, that I'm smarter than you. I know more than you. But we could all gain to learn something new. That's just like you can learn a lot from the newer generation. If Nicki Minaj would have said this earlier in her career or throughout her career, people would have listened. But this is coming from the same artist who said, who did a song with Yo Gotti and a song be like, I tell all my, bring it up, bring it up, da -da 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 -da. 
Da -da -da. Bought the pink Lamborghini, just a race in China. Da -da 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 in China. And it ain't in China. You should point the finger at your label mates. You should point the finger at the guy who signed you. Lil Wayne. I'm in it with the terror. Got a hand full of stacks. Better grab an umbrella. I make it rain. Let's not forget your label mate Drake did a song with Lil Wayne years back. I got money to blow. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. I got money to blow. So that's all we know. That's our education. That's who we were influenced by. We were taught to believe that we have to go to the strip club. If I'm not mistaken, you did a song with 2 Chains. Yeah, I love them strippers. Yeah, I love them strippers. Yeah, I love them strippers. So we're not being taught to save money. So it's a contradiction. So you can't undo what you've already done already. And you can't talk down on the younger generation and all the young black teens when you're part of the reason why they think the way they do. They've seen you buy Gucci cardigans. They think that their happiness comes from materialism. They're in the clubs now. When you go to the clubs now, women are buying their own section. They're like the men. If you go to their section, they don't have men in their section. Majority of women in the club nowadays, they pay for their section. They had the bottle girls bring them bottles with the sparkles coming out. The women twerking on each other, throwing money in the air. A lot is some women that do that every night, every night. And a lot of that stuff is leading to depression. It's leading to depression. They got to take antidepressants. They got to try to drink their problems away, try to smoke their problems away. Money ain't just going to solve that. It's creating deeper issues. See, the women of today, they're rapping about what you rapped about early on in your career. It's just now, times has changed. Different artists, different sound. New player, same game. You have women who looked up to Nicki Minaj and they want to go get their bodies done. They want to go get a BBL. A lot of them, they're not getting BBLs because they want to, you know, impress themselves. They want validation from others. They want to step outside and they want to get a, a, a ego boost. They feel like that's going to help them with their confidence, not their attitude with their confidence. They know if they go on social media, they see you twerking online they say, okay, she's twerking. You know, they see Nicki Minaj twerking and, you know, she got her butt cheeks out. They say, I'm going to replicate that. I'm going to do the same thing. And they go get the likes too. They trying to impress people too. You telling them to save money, but they see you at a BBL. So now they want to go pay their hard earned money to go to BBL to look like Nicki Minaj. That's where their money going. Not only do they want to impress other females, they want to impress men because they think that majority of the men are so infatuated with women with a big butt. They feel worthless. They feel like if they ain't got no big butt, they're worthless. So what they do, they take their hard earned money and they put that in a BBL instead of fixing the person on the inside. It's not until they get with a lot of men, they realize that's just entertainment. Like I was lied to. There are some men out here that would enjoy a nice, a decent conversation. A lot of women in today's time, they can't even hold a conversation. All they want to talk about is money, 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 money. When you approach a woman in today's time, it's some women that say, you say, what's your name? Cash app. And they're not saving that money. They spending it. You know, they're not spending their money on assets. They spend it on liabilities. They say that women are the number one consumers. So, emotionally, they're spending their money to feel good about themselves. So I agree. I 100% agree. You're right. The people who really got it, they don't do all that. You're not going to see the Jeff Bezos, the Mark Zuckerbergs, the Bill Gates of the world, even Jay-Z. You don't have to look like money to have money. And once again, Nicki Minaj is a phenomenal rapper, phenomenal, great, talented artist. Would I say that she's the greatest of all time? Absolutely not.
I can never give her that crown. I can never crown her as the queen when her entire style came from Lil' Kim. And Nicki Minaj played a part into birthing a lot of women of this era. Cardi B, she looked up to Nicki Minaj. A lot of women, they are depressed. They are living their lives through social media because they're comparing their lives to other people's lives. They seeing people taking their money. Instead of saving that money, they see people going on these trips because they see y'all going on trips to Dubai and seeing y'all travel all over the place. They think sitting in the house, you failed. You said that when the pandemic came, you was able to sit in the house, you had money saved up. And I'm pretty sure by you sitting in the house, you was making money sitting in the house. Some people don't understand the concept that of letting your money work for you. You sleeping while the money is up, while the money up working. You sitting in the house as your money is still growing. They don't understand that. All they know is go to work and try to escape reality. They got bills. People got bills to pay. People got houses. They got to pay mortgage. They got to pay the car insurance, right? They got to pay car notes. They got electric bills. So people can't just save money like that. They got kids. It's not that easy. And as I said, this younger generation, they want to listen to the lottos of Light Skin Keisha, Cash Doll, Ruby Rose, Sukiyana, like they want to listen to the, the newer wave because this newer wave, they admire you. The beer, beer. It's a whole lot of money in this month. I put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega. Nicki Minaj is becoming the old bitter lady that she accused Lil' Kim of being back when Nicki Minaj was one of the most hottest artists at the time. But they seen you splurging and, and spending all your money on 11, $11.8 million homes. Everybody nowadays think they, they're a celebrity in their own minds. They don't want to save no money. You talk to this young generation about saving, they're going to be like, oh, you broke. They think the people who saving money broke. It's a backwards mindset because of the programming. It's going to be hard to undo this, especially once you get in your mid-40s. You think they gonna wanna listen to a mid 40 year old? You got more women at the strip club nowadays than men. Imagine that. They want the bust down Roly as well. They want that padded Philippe. They want all the stuff that the men got. The diamond jewelry, spending their money on. You know, all these expensive shades and they want the fashion over. They want everything that they see the women on the shave room with. They living vicariously through the Nicki Minaj's of the world. It used to be a saying that said, don't let the money make you, you know, make the money. But everybody now, they let the money make them. You know, they, they worry about their drip. They want to look good for Instagram, for TikTok. They seek validation. All the material things that you promoted throughout your career that led women to go out here to feel like they needed that stuff that feel good about themselves, it's all to impress somebody on social media. They looking for that validation. They want to get those hearts and those likes, them comments and make them feel better about themselves. They want the Mercedes Benzes. They want the luxury cars as well. And your music played a part in that. 